Start with the crew now. Okay, oh, yeah, so you started crew, with Soul. Yeah. yeah. Oh, started okay. with Soul. Let's go to Tibla. No, no, I just want to go back to Soul quickly because his grandmother wanted to speak to him. She spoke to you the last time. Yeah. And she says afterwards you were really touched and she says you honored her. Yeah. She says that I just want you to know that everything you're receiving is not because of me. It's your hard work. Ooh. She says I help you, I guide you, but she says you are finally putting in the effort. Oh. Right? Because you have started to believe in you. Oh. oh. So she, she, she says, and you've had to make some big tough decisions in terms of taking a step away with family. There was just too much of abuse, too many people expecting from you. Mm -hmm. So she says, you had to make that big decision that I will love them and I will be there, but I don't have to feel that sense of obligation. So she says that everything you're doing is correct. You're so accurate. Oh my God. That's beautiful though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saul's my friend. I have to start first with Saul. (laughs) At the other time, I thought it was right place, right time. (laughs) (laughs) Right place and that's actually hard work. Right time with Matt G. <laughs> All right, boy. 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 All right, I'm going to go straight to Matt G. Oh, Tico. So oh. when I go to your energy, you talk the talk. But when it comes to, as I said earlier on, when it comes to you being serious, you are actually a very sentimental guy. Mm. Right. You do everything to please and honor your family, your ancestors and the crew as well, because every decision you make, you you, you think about your people. Mm. You think that is it going to enhance their lives as well? So you're not a guy. A lot of the people that watch the show think Mac G is so tough and he's all about controversy. No, you worry about every single person that's working with you. So you're actually a very soft guy. Mm. And I am seeing that uh, for 2023, you've got very big plans for the show. So I am seeing you touched uh, a little bit on the international market and you're going in bigger mm. this year. There's lots of discussions. I'm seeing a massive show on, on international soil, oh. right? And I am seeing that there is not one but two new collaborations that's coming in because I'm seeing contracts that's going to be signed that's going to be uh, improving the show show. and the people that you work with right so you are really putting your feelers out you're serious about business Mm. right you laugh and you joke and you have fun but you are a businessman end of the day wow (laughs) 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 but I like that he is serious about the people that's in his team Mm. right you may shout at them and scold them when you're angry but you care about them. Mm. So don't take him seriously now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but that's true. That's true. Right. Man. You, you, you don't carry grudges. You no. may scold somebody now. When you walk out the door, it's done. Yeah. You don't want to walk in tomorrow with that same issue hanging mm. over you. Mm. And I like that about you. You are very honest. And the way you say it is, is clean, it's done, it's finished. Mm. All right. When I'm going to your energy, um, we spoke about the baby the last time. Yes. And now I'm seeing relationship energy coming into the fore. Okay. Right. So I see that you've gone through a lot of challenges in the past and, and you have a lot of trust issues. Okay. Right. But I see you've also he- you've been healing that. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself and you've entered 2023 feeling, I don't want to only work, but I want to build my home now. Mm. So that energy is taking precedence this year. Mm. Actually, you, you started uh, renovating. Yeah, she's renovating. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> she's actually renovating. You're good. Wait, says. Wow. So so oh. you, you, you really are putting everything into perspective this year. You're making sure mm. that um, the dreams and the goals that you had in the previous years are not just floating. Yes. Because there was just so many things that were happening that you never got to lock down to what you wanted. And this year you're saying it's going to be done. Oh, yeah. So you're very serious about, about mm. that. Definitely. Um, when I look at your energy, I am seeing that apart from you being... This is Simpiwe, Simpiwe the sound guy. the sound guy. Okay, sorry I don't know y'all's names. Um, so, Simpiwe, when I go to Spiewe. you. Simpiwe. Oh, is that your name? Sorry, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just hand in your resignation. They don't know your name. Simpiwe. Uh, Simpiwe. <laughs> Mr. S. <laughs> yeah. So, when I go to your energy, I see that you are very serious about working on this show, on this platform, and you are trying to enhance it. Sometimes you get frustrated with the guys because you feel like they're not listening to what you have to say or what you're offering, right? And it's not because they don't respect you. I think their minds are so busy with everything else that sometimes they also just need to calm down and listen to what the crew is adding, uh, you know, onto this platform because oh. everybody's got brilliant ideas that's going to help the show along. But when I look at your energy, apart from being here, I am seeing another 
a job opportunity yeah. around you. So I am seeing you juggling energy because it's about making money. It's about providing. Mm. So this year is all about success, about financial success. And I see you've entered 2023 feeling, I can't only rely on one income. I need to now look at other opportunities without disappointing them, without leaving them. You will be able to have a multiple source of income. Oh, right. so you're going to Metro, how? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> but, but you've also been wanting to study because I'm getting another course coming in. What are you wanting to study? Um, UX design. Okay, because that has been something that you've been thinking about for a while as what well. What did you say? UX design? Yeah. That's like hmm. coding. Um, not coding, per se. It's just like you work with um, like apps and stuff. Um, so you just... And like you design the app to be user friendly. Oh, yeah. wow. So you are able to see what the client needs yeah. and you are able to design something for that client's uh, business. So that is coming in important because the studies is something you wanted to do for a while. And the reason it's now strong is you realize that once I do that, I can do private consulting. All right. So therefore, I'm saying this year is about making money. There's multiple streams of income. Oh, We're taking your rider this year. <laughs> so basically, Mac doesn't have to give you an increase this year. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> he wasn't like he was like no. <laughs> hey man, let, let's go to my boy Neo. Uh, we we had a very tough year with uh, uh, Malik and Black Studios. Yes, well, now Black Studios, yeah, last year. Hmm. So when I look at your energy, I see that um, you have entered 2023 feeling a little bit down. All right. You know, there's so much that you want to achieve and you've entered this year feeling a little bit overwhelmed, feeling is everything going to come together? All right. You are really a hardworking person. And I see that, you know, you are always about making sure everybody else is benefiting mm. and you put yourself last. Mm. Right. The two things that uh, that are concerning me when I go to your reading is your health is number one. Ooh. All right. You know for a fact that your body's tired. Right. You just came back from a holiday, but your energy is already tired. So you've got to take time out for yourself. Right? I know you've got busy days, but make sure when you're at home, just switch off for a little bit because your mind never rests. Mm. Right? You're constantly thinking, you're constantly tweaking, you're trying to keep everything afloat mm. and it's taking a toll on you. Right. So you need to look after your health. And the second thing is you need to also learn to, um, you know, share responsibilities. Mm. Right. You want to take it all upon yourself. You you don't like to burden anybody, but you don't realize that it's burning you out. Mm. So that um, uh, energy is affecting your health immediately. We're seeing that negative. Uh, when I look at the team, everybody's willing to step up and, and, and offer support. But you're a person that feels, if I do it myself, I'll do it right. Mm. right? But I do see that this year is going to be a good year in the sense that all the things that you wanted to accomplish for 2022 that did not get finished, you brought it forward and it is is going to get done. I'm seeing you in negotiation. There's some kind of document or legal document that you guys are negotiating that is going to still come uh, uh, to the fore and be positive. Wow. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. Because he's um, literally the backbone of the podcast. He is the backbone, yeah, is. but he likes to stay in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Saul, is that you? <laughs> Stays in the foreground. <laughs> So for you, it's all about seeing this show take the next step. It's about that international opportunities that we saw. So there's a lot in the pipeline and you just want to see it come to fruition and it is going to. You just need to enjoy the process. And that's very important for everybody. Everybody. Yes. everybody yes, yes. Enjoy the process. Not the journey. Exactly. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process because you are you are really harming your own energy. Oh. Mm. Right. Everybody respects you. But I see you're so quiet. You have all these ideas, but you don't speak up. You mm. do everything in the background. Mm. But it benefits everyone. Oh, man. Jeez. Hey, Tato! Yeah, 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 yeah. Tato! 
<laughs> is he getting married to the fact checker? <laughs> <laughs> Are there wedding bells? Are you seeing wedding bells? So when is I go vibing to... or... <laughs> so when I go to his energy, there's too much vibing. <laughs> <laughs> He's constantly on New Year's Eve mode. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. When I go to your energy, I see that um, there's been a lot going on at home. All right. And I'm seeing that you are sometimes feeling alone. You sometimes feel like you don't have anybody to talk to. For you, work is almost like your your time out. You know, you you invest a lot here. You love what you do. You you love being with the crew. But when I see you at home, I see that you tend to go into a shell and you bottle a lot. All right. What I am liking for 2023 is that you have, like the other gentlemen, there's multiple opportunities coming forward for you. But there is a caution. I am seeing a new opportunity, a new offer. It's two gentlemen that want to work with you, not these two. It's external, but they are going to exploit you. Ooh. Right? You are good at what you do, and you can feel it, that they are offering you this, and they say they'll do that with you. But you can feel that they are making too many promises, and it's just not aligning. You need to be strong enough to say, I don't need that opportunity. Trust me, a new one will come through. Don't feel desperate and settle because you're actually going to go into a negative. I see that in your gut, you've been feeling that disconnection with the individuals. Mm. All right. So just be very cautious about what you accept this year. But I promise you from around March onwards, energy around finances is going to improve. The reading seems to be a lot about finances in wow. this in this uh, in this room. Mm. Um, obviously, that has been then a concern or it has been a worry yes. uh, last year. Oh, oh. yes. Hey, Jeff. Yes. Even this month. Hey, you're good, man. Even yes. this month. Black Studios. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey, my little man, I'm not a fan, but they've been wounded, you know. It's like it feels right. And it's not his fault. <laughs> no. It's just, yeah, we just know stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but he can be the point. punching bag. Yeah. And then when I go to his energy, he's trying to like melt into the sea. Wait, the, uh, the guy in the orange? Yes. So just a uh, context, um, please bring the shoes. So we've partnered up with a local uh, manufacturer. They do shoes. It's called Via. Yes. So it's his company. So he's here to bring your... Um, oh, This is our you. gift from you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. It's from him. Oh. It's from him. Oh. Uh, we got your size shoe, ne? Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, so that's for you, yeah? Oh, these are be and I love gray. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much. I'll yeah. use them for my next hiking uh, trip. Yeah, so that's why he's here. So we've partnered up with him and 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 via and um so far so good. Well, when I go to his energy, he is very excited to be with you guys. He understands your challenges and I see him as very supportive, all right? I see for you it's not just about the money, but it's about the relationship. You believe in the guys, you believe in your brand and you believe that you can take it forward. I am seeing that Vaya has very humble beginnings. Mm. You know, uh, it was a struggle. Nobody believed in you. Nobody believed in your brand and you had to believe in it. And it's now really growing. Mm. So I am seeing that it's going to be in more provinces. I am seeing that people are going to want your brand. So I'm seeing new designs coming in as well. Uh, so there's lots of exciting things happening in the first half of this year. Wow. Right. Uh, when I look at the energy around you, you are a very humble, very kind, a very dignified human being. Right. And whenever people encounter you, they don't even see the big man that you are. They mm. see the, the the kind and generous soul that you are. And that's what it's all about. And that's what we've been talking about yeah, in the show. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So when I look at the energy around your business, I see that Vaya is only one part of the big plan. Wow. I am seeing that you've got another business model that is busy um, unfolding. And I am seeing a property energy around you that's coming in quite uh, prominent. So there's lots of positive things happening around you and you should be so proud of yourself. Wow. There was a time when nobody believed in you and you did go through a bit of depression. You were losing faith Jeez. and you had to find you had to dig deep and find that that inner strength and it was your ancestors that have Ooh. guided you because you give wow. thanks every single day to them oh, all right wow. your grandmother says to you that we are proud of you my child because we don't we are, we are not a family of money 
Mm. We don't have a lot. Mm. She says, you're the only one that has, that has broken free. Oh. That is doing hey. so well. Mm. And she says that Beautiful. for Beautiful. you, it's not Beautiful. about making money for yourself. You are empowering the family. Mm. You are making sure that everybody is going to grow with you and you'll continue to be blessed. Wow. Shout out to Muzi from Vaya, man. That's amazing. <laughs> ah, Tuso, Mr. Spit Pride. Hey. Does he know where the spit prize is? Yes. <laughs> Here, yeah, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. When I'm going to, sorry, your name is? Uh, Tuso, Tuso. 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 So, Tuso, when I go to your energy, the first thing that comes through is relationship. Wow. Right? Um, there has been some challenges there. All right? And I am seeing that you do care about the person. You have been going through a bit of disappointment and frustration because you do love the person and you just feel like there's a disconnection, right? I see that this particular person does love you too, but I'm seeing that unfortunately your partner is allowing too many people to interfere in the relationship. Do you find that sometimes when you speak to your partner, it's like you are hearing what other people are saying and not what your partner wants to say or what your partner feels? Right. Because if I break it down to just the two of you, there is love there. There's love there. And I see that this relationship can work, but both of you need to cut out all the interference. And that has really been bringing you down. Do you feel like you've entered 2023 with this heavy heart, with this heavy energy? around it. Wow. Um, I know that you love, I know that you do love your partner and all you want is to be uh, on the same page, to be aligned and to just work at building a future together. And I still see that as possible, but your partner needs to stop feeling like everybody else's voice matters hmm. when yours does. Wow. Right. Taz, one to Taz. Guys. Oh, Wow, man. Can't you come like every week? <laughs> <laughs> so I can speak to all the gentlemen that are calling in. <laughs> because us ladies are sorted. Yeah. Tibla is Look, next. Tibla. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, go ahead. Tibla. How dare he forget you? That's <laughs> <laughs> That's I didn't see him. So when I go to your energy, the first thing that stands out is travels. <laughs> this year, there's lots of opportunity for you to work beyond your comfort zone. All right. And I see that it took you a long time for you to find your voice. It took you a long time for you to find your niche market because I see that there were so many things happening around you that you didn't know what you are good at. And you're finally zoning in and saying, this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do. And I am seeing opportunities from a work perspective for you to travel and take on more challenges, more opportunities. So when I look at your energy for 2023, it's a very busy year. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of opportunity. But I don't want you to pull back because everything is unfolding. And I see that you tend to overanalyze, overthink, and then you pull back. I want you to go with the flow. And I also want you to trust in your own intuition because I see often you have like such strong ideas or strong thoughts. And then you overthink it and you're blocking the flow of energy. All right. When I look at your energy, I see that, and I know I'm making this reading a lot about money, but when I look at your energy, I see so much of responsibility. So yes, this year is busy and there's opportunity, but I'm also seeing that there's a lot of obligations around you. So I'm seeing that financially, there's a lot that you need to take care of. Right. And when I look at the energy around relationship, you're still carrying a little bit of heaviness around you from a past relationship. So we spoke about closure. We spoke about letting go. And that is still sitting heavy on your energy field because you did care about somebody. It didn't materialize the way you wanted it to. And I am seeing that there is that disappointment that you carry. And unfortunately, it is affecting you going forward in other relationships because you do have a bit of a guard up, right? You are not letting anyone too close because you're so scared of getting hurt. But you're such a good looking guy. You're going to have so many people interested in you, mm. but you need to now just let go of the past. And, and I do see an ex that, that is going to resurface. Don't go back. Just close that chapter. Mm.